really is a fine striker of a ball, Eshko Afghan. And he's not afraid to play the big shots. He's not afraid to take on the bowling. Sometimes, I have to say, he probably goes a little too hard, too early, tries to play too many shots. Oh, that's out, I reckon. That's got to be well bowled. Well back, young man. Under the pump for the majority of this over. He's bowled the googly, I reckon. That's just come back a wee bit, hit the front pad right in front of the stumps, and no hesitation from the umpire. So they lose another one to the Kandahar Knights, and they fall even further behind. Terrific bowling. Great comeback from Fitra Tulla. And uh, not too many doubts about that one. The ball just skidding on. And uh, I think that was a fair enough decision as far as I was concerned. Karim Janat goes for just two. And Kandahar now 58 for four. to Jamal coming in at number six and it's looking more and more like the Asgar Afghan show here a lot of responsibility on the captain if Kandahar to get across the line remember they've lost their first two games of this tournament are they going to go uh, naught from three here well uh, Jamal will certainly have to make uh, a significant contribution alongside his captain if they're to avoid that fate outside the line no problems there for the umpire he's normally a top order batsman Jamal comes in that one drop so this is a different position for him seven overs bowled 58 for four It's being lost at regular intervals. It's been the Kandahar Knights' problem throughout this tournament so far, and it's coming back to haunt them once again. They simply haven't been able to get off to decent starts. Farid Malik is going to be operating now from the Sharjah club end. Just the one over for him so far. He's taken a fairly acrobatic catch on the boundary. He's going to be up against the Afghanistan captain, so a pretty good opportunity to impress uh, Asgar Afghan here. Asgar Afghan now up to 35 from just 18 balls, and I would imagine if you're uh, logging on to uh, www.myteam11.com to create your own fantasy team, then uh, Asgar Afghan would be uh, one of your uh, players. If you want to do that, of course, you can go to that website, test your skills, and win big with real cash on offer. I'm oh, happy just to dab it down to third man was short and wide just can't help but think that you want to be going after those you want to try and maximize on those sorts of deliveries run rates not an issue the required run rate at nine to the over so still well in hand the problem with the Kandahar Knights throughout the tournament has been wickets in hand just haven't been able to keep wickets in hand or build a partnership that's uh, been of any worth and uh, maybe this is the time for that to happen he's such a critical man for the side Ashka Afghan and he's 35 of just 18 deliveries, but they need a bit more of him. They need him to hang in there for a lot more time. 
the encouraging thing from a Kandahar perspective is that he's out there at all because uh, we saw him coming off at the back end of the uh, Carball innings. He had to leave the field for the last over, actually. He signaled for the dressing room and he hobbled off. But he's showing no signs of that uh, hobbling now. That's a Jamal, meanwhile, on strike. As part of Afghanistan's squad for the World Cup qualifier in Zimbabwe in uh, March. But he didn't feature on the Tour of Ireland in uh, August. Oh, he's hit him. And he's hit him on the uh, side of the helmet. That was nasty. He just got into a very bad position and had nowhere to go. Nice change of pace there from Fareed Malik. He's bustled in and just whipped one down short of a leg. There we go. A bit more ac action in that, a bit more effort in that. And it's so well directed. He had nowhere to go. I think he thought, can I play this? And he thought, oh, hold on. And uh, <laughs> he had nowhere to go. Hit him before he moved. That's an excellent delivery. He really is. One thing about these Afghanistan players, though, they're tough as teak. <laughs> he hasn't even taken his helmet off. Not a moment's hesitation. He's back to face the next delivery. Oh, he's pulled this one away. Hasn't got all of it. More splicey than middle. Maybe just beaten for a bit of pace again, but at least he's played a shot in anger, not try to duck this one. Attempted another short one from Farid Malik. Well, this time it's sat up and you know, probably thinks he should have done a bit better with that delivery. Thank goodness for helmets, though. Farid Malik perhaps uh, getting a bit giddy there, having uh, struck the batsman on the helmet. Short again. Good over this so far, though. Five off it. And just the single to end the over. So a, a tidy over that from uh, Farid Malik. Six from it. It's 64 for four. so far for the Kandahar Knights and it's not going to get any easier for them after this evening's game because they'll be up against the uh, Paktia Panthers who of course last night top 200 to beat the Bulk Legends they've got uh, a couple of wins to their name Paktia and then Nangahar complete with uh, Ben Cutting and uh, Andre Russell so uh, they really do need a victory here the Kandahar seen some great comebacks from uh, various teams in uh, franchise cricket across the globe who can forget the Mumbai Indians they always seem to lose <laughs> the first few games and then come back to do well in the tournament but you just can't up but think in a tournament this congested with this few games you've got to make sure that uh, you're on the, the board early just like that call was early and that enabled Dashka Afghan to make it through in the end but uh, they can ill afford to go winless here tonight. The Kandahar Knights, and that will leave them plenty to do to just make the, the playoffs. So a crucial game in this competition. Javad Amadi was uh, the man collecting and throwing out at the stumps. Cut! Oh, he's got him. No, he hasn't. I thought he had it. I thought he had stuck out the left paw. And I thought he had made the grab. Oh, I tell you what. I think he had it, thought he had it as well. He did have it. And then when he just tried to uh, well, ensure that he uh, retained it, that's when uh, the trouble began. 
think it, he, he tried to throw that up in the air. I think that's what's happened here. Who could forget uh, what Herschel Gibbs did in the World Cup? I don't know if uh, he's uh, got it and then try to throw it up. Have a look here. You make out your mind up. Oh, maybe I'm doing him a disservice. So this thing that he had it and then was thinking of a celebration rather than keeping it in uh, the pause. He had it between the thumb and forefinger. And then when he tried to adjust his uh, adjust the position of the ball in his hand, that's when he lost it. wonder whether he could have gone two hands as well. It was a reflex action. Yeah, you're right. The reflex was to just stick out the paw, but I think it came a little uh, more slowly looped to him and probably had uh, ample time to get two hands to it in the end. A chance nonetheless, and probably a chance that he would back himself taking nine times out of ten. As frugal as ever, though, in his first over, Rashid Khan. Just the three conceded. Nine bowls, 67 for four. It's the start of the weekend here in the UAE, Thursday night. And um, a little bit of frustration with those two <laughs> little girls <laughs> by the seam of it. Ball's fair. It's a wrist spin from both ends for Kabul. There's no doubt that there's a lot riding on Ashka Afghan and his success in this particular innings would more than likely dictate whether they win or lose. However, there's a bit in the tank. Ricky Bessels, he's a pretty handy player. And uh, he's still to come. Najib Bullet, Zadran as well. He's a pretty handy player as well. So there's a bit in the tank there as far as the Kandahar Knights are concerned. It's not all over if uh, they lose another one. But they're not about to do that anytime soon. Oh, that's over the boundary, another pot maximum. Spagiza, just when he needs it, just when he needs that boundary, he's able to find it time and time again, Ashkaf Gun. And it's not out the middle of the bat, but he's uh, such a strong lad that he's able to muscle it over the boundary for maximum. Beautiful strike against the spin. That's to the longer boundary here this evening. It cleared it by quite some distance. And a quicker, flatter ball. And Asghar Afghan just a little bit frustrated that he missed out. Trying to get that ball past backward point and short third man. Down towards the Charger Football Stadium. And six more. Spagiza. This is the Ashka Afghan show. One away from a half century, 49 of 23, and two maximums in the over. One down on one knee over mid wicket. This one a shimmy down the wicket. And a full flow of the bat. He knew straight away he had got all of this one. Up into the night sky, and uh, a long way over the boundary. Clean strike. 13 off the over thus far. Uh, try to do the right thing there. Let's try to just uh, nudge it onto the onside. Plenty of uh, open space on that onside. Easy single there. Just didn't get enough bat on it. Now yeah, that's short cut away, but there is a sweeper out there. So just the single. 14 off. Halfway. 81 for four. So another 50 for Asghar Afghan. He's really played well. 50 of 25 deliveries with 50 for him in his T20 career. A strike rate of 200. Really batted well. 
He's lost partners at the other end, but uh, himself he's held forth, really patted well as Garav Khan. That's got to pave the way here for his side. A lot will depend on him. Uh, Jamal on seven. Shahidullah, he's been very impressive. Two wickets for him in his three overs. Once again, that probably some bad to it. Welcome, Charu. Thank you, Ajay. Very lucky. That's got to have gone, the skipper. The, that's, of course, earlier. That's the single, wincing a bit. Nice 50. Well done. Should be a very tired man right now. Jumps out again and, oh, had to manufacture that. You get only a single. And had he unable to get a little touch on it. And, uh, again, Ronki might have been in business. It's been almost the same story for... Uh, the Kandahar Knights, uh, they've lost early wickets. Uh, Zagar Afghan, of course, brilliant half century. 51 unbeaten, uh, eight dot <laughs> deliveries. <laughs> Somebody get him some water and a banana quickly. Needs it, deserves it. <laughs> Did mention, yes, never easy. In this heat uh, must be uh, tiring a bit. Everybody who's come here is loving this innings. He's a national captain as well, Zagar Afghan. Staged the lone battle, waged the lone battle, hasn't he? When he walked in, he showed a little bit of anger, hitting that uh, four off the very first delivery. And I think he's still a little angry because the rest of the team, unfortunately, hasn't been able to perform. And, uh, you know, it's, it's tiring waging a lone battle time and again, and they're still so far away from that target, although they haven't done so badly. They've lost four wickets, and uh, that could be a dampener. They, uh, we know run out of batting pretty soon. That's been their problem, although, of course, uh, Ricky Wessels may be the mystery weapon. Oh, yeah, you're right. Going to be interesting how he bats here. End of the 11th over, 83 for 4. Got the banana, as you were mentioning, Charu. Yeah. Well, he's the captain after all. I mean, give him a dozen, for heaven's sake. And some water as well. You know, I feel really sorry for him. Because, uh, as, as Merg has reminded us, this is, of course, how brutal he has been, this innings. And, of course, uh, inventive, too. You can always catch everything from the middle of the bat. But, uh, oh, and the big ones. He hits them so hard. This was a fabulous shot. Shot of the match. And then, well, take your pick. Absolutely amazing, I think, uh, going uh, with the spin. Some lovely hitting from him. Clean striking as well. Was picking the spinners early. Yeah, he still seems to be limping just a bit. But I was referring to the fact that Merkis had reminded us he actually limped out of the ground just before the innings ended uh, when they were bowling. So he's already carrying some sort of an injury. And then to come out now and play uh, this lone ranger, tough. He's got to have uh, coming from the other end. It's got to be important because... Uh, you know, his T20, especially uh, with the required run rate, which is creeping up all the time, over and round up, 10 at the moment. You need uh, your partners as well to just chip in. 90 required of 53. Still Rashid Khan, I think uh, his four overs are going to be very important. Muslim Musa, another very good all-rounder. Seven wickets for him, uh, two for 19 his best. His T20 career, he's got a decent economy. play at every ball and uh, one can understand third man's up so uh, just a reminder that uh, Kabul were 86 for three they're 84 for four so not too much in it at this point of time except that extra wicket that uh, Kandahar have lost but how deep do they bat and I'm suspecting that only uh, the mystery of Ricky vessels apart they may not have too much uh, in the tank after the spare that is do they take the two? No. Also, uh, first game for him, and uh, I think it's going to be very interesting how Ricky Wessels really adapts to the situation, to the conditions here. Never easy. So, uh, going to be tough here. So, Asgar has to really bat as long as possible. That worm, uh, just uh, keeping uh, pace at the moment. But 
remember they've lost four way important wickets here the Qatar Knights yeah, there's a minor acceleration at this point in time for Kabul so uh, that green run rate line of Qatar now suddenly falling and you don't want it to fall too far because already as you said it's about ten and a half and over so that's a pretty stiff ask how hard does Asghar Afghan go he's been going hard for what well virtually since the start of the innings and uh, we know he's carrying an injury so one false shot and this innings may fall apart for the whole uh, team that is oh that's a terrific delivery he was uh, just getting a bit tired just playing all over that one and Musa strike that's a big one the set batsman the captain he's got to walk back Asghar Afghan after getting a very good half century done in by the slow one and uh, Muslim Musa who played a match then was taken away for a match comes back into the side for Kabul and uh, does a lot of damage there it is again well uh, that little leg spinning action Asghar Afghan was looking for the big one down leg came back just a fraction but really done in because of the slower one a terrific innings comes to an end a captain's knock but it may not be enough today 52 from just 32 86 for five Another southpaw, he comes to the crease, uh, Najibullah. He's got a task at hand, not going to be easy for uh, Najibullah Zadran. Over 1,000 uh, runs, he's got a very impressive strike rate, 142. But he's here because of this. This was the wicket of Asghar Afghan playing all over, wearing his pace. Good bowling by Musa, boxing uh, the uh, captain here, Asghar Afghan. Well, wasn't he distraught? Gutted because he knew so much depended on him. But how much responsibility can one man uh, bear? We feel for him. Well bowled, though, Musa. The best part is Rashid Khan still to come. So uh, those four overs are going to be very important. It is seven for five. Not a pretty sight if you're a Qatar Knights uh, supporter. Just one half century of Asghar Afghan, of course, played brilliantly. 52 of 32, but uh, the rest of the batsmen just falling apart. Paul Sterling, Pratan Makal, of those big names. Couldn't muster too many runs. And Rashid Khan. Well, uh, I think uh, he's got the key once again. He's got Nakha picking up wickets. Well, he hasn't picked up too many in the league so far, but we know he can. And, of course, he's kept batsmen very quiet. Now he's dealing with number six and seven. So, as you can imagine, he might be right on top. Although, of course, he does have a lefty here. And watch out for the googlies. Oh, uh, there's the first of them. You know, I'm a little surprised because they had uh, Ricky Wessels listed at number seven. But in walks Najibullah. So, uh, either Ricky is not 100%, which I don't think is a likelihood. Maybe they're just uh, were saving him up for a late onslaught. There's still plenty of time. We'll see. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, normally I think he should be batting up the order. He's got uh, that flair. He can get those quick runs. They need some quick runs here. The Kandahar Knights. We saw him uh, pat it up. Probably uh, will be in next. Bowling oh. is over very nicely. Once again, a Gogli deceiving the batsman. Smiles as well. Therefore, the skipper, Rashid Khan. I don't think Najibullah will be doing much smiling right now. Completely done in by the wrong one. Step forward. Didn't know what's what. Oh, just a terrific delivery from the master of his craft. You see the line he's bowling around the off stump. Now, uh, 
That's always a better line against left hand batsman. Let him work the ball on the onside. Let him play across the line. He's mixing his deliveries uh, pretty nicely, wearing his pace as well. Used the crease to very good effect. Rashid Khan, he just conceded four runs so far, bowling his second over. Required run rate, just creeping up all the time. Earlier, it was 10 and a half, now it's 12. It's again a googly, will be a dot delivery. Excellent over from Rashid Khan, 88 for five. Largely thanks to the late slogging by Laurie Evans. 57 not out. Kabul's one on 173. And we think that maybe 15 runs too many for Kandahar Knights. But that was at the start. Now, I think it's uh, maybe 50 too many. Asgar have gone a lone hand. 52 from 32. But nothing thereafter. Paul Sterling, unfortunately, went uh, for a golden duck. And then Brendan McCullum, maybe a little injured. But also couldn't contribute too much. And As Asgar have gone now back in the pavilion. will be wondering what might have been. Uh, swung away and for six. Whoa, where did that come from? Ajibullah does have a terrific strike rate. That was uh, angling down leg. Got underneath it really well. That's a fog maximum spagiza. Not a great delivery. As a bowler, you will be never happy. Just angling down, short fine leg field up. Inside the circle, there's a swing of the arms. And there she goes. Poor line as well from Musa. The last one was very impressive from him. Getting that wicket of Asghar Afghan. Not a great start here. It just goes on to show, Ajay. All of us keep saying right-left combination at the crease. And, you know, the bowlers might find a little difficult. A lot of people might wonder why. Because it's so easy to adjust. Well, it's not. Every once in a while, you do bowl a loose delivery. It goes for maximum. Oh, straight up. That's it. Goodbye. A six and out. Soft dismissal. Once again, I didn't pick that uh, same uh, pull shot this time. Uh, just scooping it up. Easiest of catches for Musa. He's got his man. He's got that revenge back. Was hit for a six and then getting a wicket here. Good bowling from Musa. Not in a great position. Not a great transfer of weight as well. Knew exactly what had happened. He's waiting for that catch and says thank you very much. Najibullah has to walk back uh, out for eight of eight deliveries. Got bowled by Musa. It's 94 for six now. New man the crease, playing his first game uh, in this uh, Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League. Ricky Wessels, right hand batsman, uh, almost nearing that 5,000 mark. He's got some experience behind him as far as T20 is concerned. Well, I don't know whether Azgar Afghan left instructions for him to come at number eight, but uh, a batsman with his experience, his strike rate, his average of 30, coming far too late in the context of this match. But he is playing his first match and uh, Maybe Asghar Afghan thought that he just needs to see more of what's going on, although he was the keeper, so we've seen very closely how the pitch is behaving. Here we go. That's the last throw of the dice for Kandahar Knights. They desperately need a win, and uh, Ajay, I fear it may not come tonight. But he's done a good job, Musa. He's really been very impressive. Bold the right lines up, got that uh, big wicket of the captain, Asghar Afghan, wearing that pace, playing all over that one. Was disappointed. Najibullah just going for the pull shot, just got a six under his belt. And once again trying the same shot, but not in great position. Poor shot selection from him. Yeah, it just wasn't short enough. I don't know where that pull shot came from, but... It only meant a long walk back to the pavilion. A long side walk, because I'm sure he came in with a fair amount of reputation, Najibullah, ahead of Wessels Jr. And he had a terrific strike rate as well, so maybe... 
the captain had said, listen, you go in there and you thrash it around because we desperately need the runs and we need them quickly. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out for him. Now this camp should be very happy. He's streaked the coach uh, of the Kabul side. Yep. The problem is uh, for uh, Ricky Wessels, he really has to uh, look for that boundary every over. With the required run rate now almost nearing the 13 mark. Can't be taking too much of time. Rashid Khan bowling from the other end. And he's one of the quickest bowlers in the world as in speed of the over. <laughs> oh boy, I think the last one he took just about a, a minute and a half or, or less. And he knows his ability. He's supremely confident. So I suspect Kandahar Knights are in for much more trouble from the other end when uh, Rashid Khan continues his spell. Oh, trying that sweep. Cheeky shot. Appeal as well. Probably some bat in it. And of the 14th over, 95 for 6. lost their way. The Knights uh, 43 for 3 at one stage, then 58 for 4. They lost for those four big wickets very early. Last ball previous over was a close shout as well, trying that cheeky shot. Or oh, probably getting some glove to it. <laughs> yeah, it was all glove, matter of fact. It was another slower one. And uh, Jamal just walked across very lazily. He was too full for that. He was very lucky that he got a lot of glove, otherwise it would have clattered onto the stumps. Watch out for the speed of the Rashid Khan over. Last over gave only one run in one and a half minutes or so. Yeah, I think uh, he's one bolo who accepts that challenge because he loves bowling in the death overs in the last few overs. Bowling his third over once again has been very economical. Similar thing happened with him in the last game as well. I think four over, 13 runs. Hasn't picked up too many wickets but really stemmed the flow of runs. The captain always the least from the front, Rashid Khan. And a class of one, Rashid Khan, with his bowling ability here. Just a little fine-tune. This field. Ah, oh, yeah. short for a change, and I think there was an inside edge there. Tough for Ronki. Big dive put in, well done. And they're so far ahead, the Kabul's one on, yet they're diving around the field. Terrific commitment. Yeah, absolutely. Big man Parnell doing a very good job there, sliding, diving, saving a few runs. Exactly what the captain wants, that commitment on the field. <laughs> you see a uh, lovely dive near the skirting, never easy. Keeping his uh, composure there, sliding the ball in. Hey, Rash. Good camaraderie between the two. Once again, Gugli didn't read it. Not going to be easy for him here, Jamal. Well, just a wild heave. Knew nothing about it. That's not very elegant at all. And the rest of the batsmen coming in must be saying, well, can we just wave the white flag here? So it seems. I'm being a little unfair. Very far behind now. Asking rate, Rick, almost 14. And you got a man like Rashid Khan who gives nothing away. Couldn't get tougher for the Kandahar Knights. That's high up in the air. He's running behind. Not going to be easy for Rashid Khan. Oh, what a try. Absolutely brilliant. I think for that try, should be getting 100 out of 100. Never easy. <laughs> yeah, of course, it was longer and long off also racing in, and perhaps they would have been better served had Rashid just said yours rather than mine because he's running backwards. Running backwards and uh, the ball drooping over the shoulders, never easy. Oh, what an effort. Very <laughs> difficult for him. Because he had said already mine, then he uh, really the fielders at long off, long on, just stopped, wait for the captain. Running backwards sounds funny. So he was running with his back to the ball <laughs> better. Oh. Another googly. Disguising beautifully uh, Rashid Khan. Mixing his deliveries. Uh, the 100 up with that single. I'm afraid too much to do for the Kandahar Knights. And that'll be three losses on the trot. Very difficult to climb back up from there. 
for that strike. That's going to be a fog maximum. It's Marquisa to end the over and six for six. assignment here for Kandahar 68 from the last five overs this is how the uh, previous over ended very good shot indeed by uh, Jamal but still a very tough task not often uh, you get hit for six Rashid Khan is it and a uh, little bit of a look there at the batsman as that ball sailed over the boundary now Muslim Musa who's bowled very tidily so far today. Two overs, two for 11. Hamid Hassan alongside me. Hamid, uh, have Kandahar got any chance at all here? It's everything possible in cricket. It's uh, like, it's not a tough task, but the only things, they don't have a much wickets in hands. Uh, they didn't get a proper, like, partnership the only one player who got 50 was captain and he lead it from the front after that that we can see only Nasser Jamal who got 19 runs but it's still like a half chance game for Kandahar if one batsman can stick oh that's a big one maximum Fox Bagiza from Nasser Jamal through mid wicket well he's attempted that shot a few times in this innings he hasn't always uh, Got it out of the middle of the bat, but he got that one out of the middle of the bat. No question about that. What a hit. Outstanding shot. This is the over that Nasser Jamal will be looking because Muslim Musa is not quick enough and he has to take his chances in this over. They get another two boundaries. There is a possibility to chase the runs, but you never know. streak the coach of Kabul he won't be relaxed yet and Naveed Saim manager always smiling Sam look like Cash Ahmed always smiles <laughs> just the single Laurie Evans down at uh, long off Nasser Jamal is such a wonderful player in middle order for Afghanistan. He played many matches and he has a lot of experience of under 19. He, he was a captain for under 19. And now team is expecting something special from him tonight. Ricky Vessels, plenty of experience in subcontinental conditions. He's played for Shawa Zalmi in Pakistan Super League. He's played domestic cricket in Bangladesh. He's played domestic cricket in Sri Lanka as well. So he understands these conditions, but uh, well, it really is a tough assignment. Better than two runs a ball required at the moment. Both are very well experienced players and they have to target at least in over 12 to 14 runs. But the man, it's very difficult to play him, Rashid Khan. He's the man. It's unplayable and they have to take the chances because after that it's only 24 deliveries remaining and Rashid got I think a couple of overs. One over in a very special over. Yes, three overs for 15 for the captain so far. Oh, lovely pick up. Big hit. Oh, he's done it again, Jamal. In fact, no, it's Ricky Vessels this time. End of the over, 122 for six.
Six bowlers used so far. And overs in hand for Carnell, Farid Malik, Petra Tulla, Rashid Khan and Muslim Musa. So uh, the captain has a few uh, options there at the back end of the innings. Shahid Allah standing tonight. Four overs, 18 runs, two wickets. And he got some runs in batting. What a shot. Outstanding. That's the beauty of whistle. Picked it quickly. One panel. Shot. Straight to the fielder. Oh, it's dropped it. Half chance. Yeah, I'm not sure that carried it. Laurie Evans had a decision to make there. Did he hang back? and prevent the boundary or did he go for the catch risk missing it and conceding the boundary i think he was double mind should i go for a catch or should i stop the boundary half chance he yeah, reached him on the half volley in the end and you could see his uh, immediate reaction was oh, should i have gone for it maybe it's a good comeback from parnell Plus two ball, two runs. Yeah, the problem they have here, Kandahar, they've lost uh, six wickets, but in addition to that, six of the remaining deliveries are going to be bowled by Rashid Khan. You would reckon if you get a run of ball off him, you'll have done well. Three overs for 15 for him so far. So really and truly, this over from Parnell needs to go the journey. Yeah, it yeah. If uh, Nasser Jamal on strike to face Rashid, he know him very well. If he try his sweep shot or try to hit with wicket, maybe he can get some boundary. But as I said before, Rashid is a very difficult bowler to play. And he cannot give you weight or any loose delivery to hit a six or a boundary. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> a very fortuitous boundary for Ricky Vessels. But uh, Kandahar will take everything on offer. A lucky boundary. Welcome boundary for Kandahar. And the old maximum Fox Saloriza. Thank you, Charu. Unlucky for the bowler, especially with fine leg up in the circle. But uh, that's the nature of the game, particularly at this stage of a 2020 innings. All smiles out in the middle for the Kandahar batsman. Oh, it's still a tough game. 45 runs, 20 deliveries. Oh, another shot, true mid wicket. They're looking for two. Comfortable two runs in the end. I saw Ricky Vessels downstairs briefly between innings. He was explaining to me that uh, he only flew in here on uh, Tuesday. So he hasn't had a lot of time for acclimatization. And even though it's a pretty mild spell in the UK at the moment, still having to get used to these sorts of temperatures is uh, quite an ask. He clubs this one down towards long on. He's hit it reasonably well, but they'll just get the single. The end of the over, 11 runs from it, 10 runs from it, in fact, 132 for six. That's the next match, the first of uh, four double-header days here at the uh, Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Fog. We've got the Nangahar Leopards up against the Bulk Legends. The Legends, of course, including Chris Gale. They lost last night. Can they bounce back tonight? Here's Rashid Khan's last over. Ooh, and uh, Ricky Vessels missed out there. Rear full toss from Rashid. A crucial over in this time for Rashid especially. He have to looking at least give five to four runs or six runs, and he's very difficult bowler as I mentioned. And Nasser Jamal will be looking for the boundary. He can capable to hit sweep shot and slogging. Oh, that's a age over the point region for four. Fog maximum four runs. Saloriza. 
Well, again, not off the middle of the bat, but uh, again, Kandahar will take it. If you're going to swing, swing hard, particularly at this uh, stage of the innings. He was looking to go over extra cover, but in the end, got some fortune. And again, a big swing and the desired result. Well, two edges, two fours, and all of a sudden, Rashid Khan under a little bit of pressure here. Nasir Jamal wouldn't mind that, but Rashid do. Because it's all, everything is going to Kandahar ways, and Nasir Jamal is just swinging his bat, but he's lucky he got two boundaries back to back. He struggled in uh, his early innings, and right now he's flying. Let's see what he got next after Rashid delivery. Have to run for everything, don't they, uh, Kandahar? That takes the partnership up to 48 from 26 balls. It's uh, a late rally from Kandahar. Is it too little too late, though? Uh, they will take that. It's not a bad start. Uh, very crucial partnership in this time. If they get some partnership in early, so that's very close. It's look like close. He put his bat. Did he ground his bat there? Let's have another look here. Is the bat down? I think it is. The umpire's having a look at this. It's a lazy piece of running by Ricky Vessels. Yeah, he's in. Looks like he's in. But this is a this is not a good effort from him, especially in this time. Well, he gets the benefit of the doubt from the third umpire, and he's back on strike. Ricky Vessels, 20 from 13 balls. This can be a tougher. 32 runs, 14 deliveries, Vissel on strike. Short and pulled away, out towards deep mid wicket. There's a man there and he's gone all the way for six. Didn't get it off the middle of the bat, Vessels. But uh, that's the 150th six of the tournament. Spagiza. Yes, Spagiza from Captain Vissel Batsman and he hit bullet true mid wicket and a nice new one it's a bad delivery from Rashid he cannot ball here if you ball it, you'll get a punishment and oh game. you over beauty <laughs> 22 off Rashid Khan's over oh this match is very much alive wonderful stuff and all of a sudden now Kandahar <laughs> moved on to 154 for six Out of absolutely nowhere, we've got a game on our hands here, and no mistake, 22 off that last over from Rashid Khan. He's finished his spell, four overs for 37, and now 20 required off 12 balls. This partnership is now 60 off 28. Vessels and Jamal have really pulled their side up by the bootstraps. Would you believe that? 22 runs from Rashid Arman last over. It's amazing batting from Nasser in Vessel. They got only 10 runs per over. And there's a man oh. down at long on and it's out. Go Rashid wicket. Khan. The catch taken and all of a sudden Kandahar's rally has it come to an end. Nasser Jamal, a really, really good innings from him in the context of the match. But that came off somewhere near the toe of the bat. And the captain was in the right place at the right time to take the catch. A miscue shot from Nasser Jamal couldn't middle it. But finally, he have to go back to Pavilion. It's such a crucial time, he gave his wicket in this time. Like only 10 runs. 38 of 30 balls, 154 for seven.
Mohamed Navid in at number nine. He's at the non-striker's end because the batsman did cross. And he can hit a long ball. But Vessels is on strike now. Oh, that's cute. That really is. But a good bit of field placing. Hazra Tulla was uh, a little bit backward of square, a deep backward square. And he keeps the batsman down to a single. This game is just turning tense by tense, every single delivery. And what a crucial wicket for Kabul's one on of Nasser Jamal. Such an important time for both team. And they finally picked up Nasser Jamal wickets. Navid, he can hit a ball long away. More bowled by Parnell. Just the single, and uh, singles don't cut it at the moment for Kandahar. Let's have a look at Rashid Khan's last over. 22 from it. Some fortune for Nasser Jamal initially. A couple of very streaky boundaries. But then Vessels, a powerful pull for six. And then a wonderful drive over long on. Class shots in last over from both batsmen, especially Vessel. Well bowled. Very well bowled. And... Uh, Wayne Parnell showing his experience. Remember, he was part of the Worcestershire side that won the 2020 competition in the UK this summer. And so he knows what he's doing at this end of the innings. Yeah, you have to ball here. Otherwise, they're only waiting for the bad delivery or, or half volley. So the best area and best line length so far is the Yorker or slower one. And now he's execu executing his plan and using his variations. It's over the offside, but they'll only get one. Javid Amadi out on the cover boundary. What an over so far. Only four runs conceded and one ball remaining. It will be a changing over for the Kabul Zwanan. So who will be the last bowler to bowl the last over? He will be thinking and he will be very nervous. Heaved away, out towards long on. Rashid Khan is there. It means that Ricky Vessels will keep the strike for the last over. So, with one over remaining, 16 to win. It's 159 for seven. Such a lovely over from Ruan Parnell. Just only five runs in crucial time. The best way he bowled was Yorker in full length and batsman was rushing to hit it hard, but they couldn't manage to hit it. They have to wait and come the ball on the bat, but they tried to hit it hard and they couldn't find any gaps. A successful, successful over in the end from Parnell, 15 from last six deliveries now. And the man who has to deal with this pressure cooker situation is uh, Farid Malik. Two overs for 15 for him so far. Is he capable of dealing with this sort of situation, Hamid? I'll uh, tell you what, many times, uh, especially in this situation, he gives runs easy, like 17, 15 runs uh, he's giving. But let's see what's he got tonight. Something different or something any special. Can he handle this pressure now? Afghanistan Premier League. And Farid Malik is here for the last and final over. And his figures in the tournament so far. Three overs, one for 41 against Paktia. Three overs for 25 against Bulk. And three overs, one for 34 against Nangahar. So he's gone the journey. And uh, he's up against a very, very experienced player. Ricky Vessels, 35 from 18 balls, and that includes three sixes. Outstanding from Vessel. Uh, remarkable batting so far. And Farid Malik will be thinking what I have to do to Vessel because 
If he ball his own strength, like a yorker in slow run on right area, he will be successful. Well, the good news, as far as Farid Malik is concerned as well, is that um, certainly in terms of Vessel's leg side options, it's the longer boundary. You can see it. That is the longer boundary. Vessels will be hitting to if he hits uh, on the onside. Full and straight and drilled down to long off. That's a really good start to the over by Farid Malik. That's what you have to ball here. A lovely start from Farid Malik. First ball, Yorker full length. It's very difficult to get it. And Farid Malik will be nervous in thinking also because he don't want to take any chance. That's a fine delivery. Whistle can a capable of batsman, he can hit the through mid wicket easy. And again, good bowling. They're happy to give up the single. Wayne Parnell had extra cover, but uh, Mohamed Navid could do nothing with that. Just looking at the toe of his bat. That's two really good deliveries to start this over. And uh, now it is uh, a very difficult assignment indeed. That's 13 required from four balls. Outstanding comeback in the last two hours, especially last eight balls. Uh, as I mentioned before, Farid, he's doing his right job. Vessels goes over extra cover. Has that got enough on it to get to the boundary? It has. Oh. Great shot. What a shot for four runs. Maximum Fox Saloriza from Vessel. A half volley. Tried to ball a fuller but he couldn't ball the full line length and Whistle managed to put the ball through to the cover for four runs. Deep in his crease there, no chance for Laurie Evans to get round. Nine off three. What a game, what a game. Three ball, nine runs. Everybody will be thinking and nervous. Who's gonna the winner? Well bowled, terrific bowling. Vessels examines the bottom of his bat, but again, a really good Yorker. This has been a terrific over from Farid Malik so far. Outstanding comeback from Farid after hitting a boundary. Now a Yorker delivery. Classic. That's a wonderful line and length. Very difficult to manage to hit this ball. Well, two fours, remember, will give us a super over. You never know. Who will be the hero for this game tonight? Oh, it's past uh, Vessels <laughs> oh. on the full toss, and uh, it looks as though Kabul are going to get across the line. Well done for it. Such a wonderful bowling from him, especially the last over. And there you can see smile of Ronki. Oh, he missed the full toss. He will be disappointed. He almost loses the game. Yeah, third man was up in the circle there, any sort of edge at all, and that would have raced away for four. But for Ed Malik, can he close things out now? Last ball. Vessels goes down towards long on. It's all the way for a six, but it's not quite enough. Heroic effort from Vicky, Ricky Vessels in his first match of the tournament. 46 not out from 23 balls. But what a thriller we've had here in the end. Kandahar chasing 174. Miss out by just two runs. Victory for Kabul and Kandahar still winless. Yeah, unfortunately, no win so far for Kandahar. Outstanding performance from Kabul Zwanan again. And the way whistle batting in the end was outstanding. But the only thing I have to say, well ball from last two, especially from Panel and Farid Malik. There, there he is, he can see the enjoyment, and he is happy, well done. How many times do you see a bowler celebrating being hit for six? <laughs> I think he will be the first one. <laughs> oh, it's a really good last over that actually from Farid Malik. It doesn't tell the story, the fact that it went for 12 runs because he was bowling under extreme pressure, but he got his Yorker pretty much spot on for most of that over. Yeah, I have to say, Credit goes to Panel last over, outstanding. He gave only five runs and let 17, 16 runs to Farid Malik. So let's have a look at the Kandahar Knights scorecard. And unfortunately, from their perspective, it was uh, a shaky start, which cost them dear. Asgar Afghan, the captain, terrific effort from him, 52. 
Nasser Jamal, 38 in quick time. And then Ricky Vessels in his first match of the tournament coming in and playing a fantastic knock, but it wasn't quite enough. Handshakes all round at the end of, uh, well, one of the uh, most thrilling games we've seen so far in the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Fog. Let's have a look at the bowling card and uh, Hamid Hassan alongside me. Pretty good bowling effort this from Kabul. Very special bowling, especially from Shahidullah, four overs, 18 runs, two wickets. Parnell, four overs, 34 runs, two wickets. Farid Malik, outstanding in last over. Fitratullah, two overs, very expensive, 28 runs. And Rashid, four over, 37 runs, expensive also. Muhammad, Muslim Musa, three over, 27, two wickets. Such a good performance from them. So, at the end of uh, a terrific match, this is what it all means. Kabul uh, Zwanan were uh, put into bat today and uh, they totaled 173 for six. We were wondering if it was going to be enough, but Kandahar, they'd been struggling so much with their batting in this tournament and uh, they struggled once again uh, today, despite those uh, heroics from Ricky Vessels and indeed Captain Asghar Afghan. So played three, lost three for the Knights and another victory on the board for uh, Kabul. Let's have a look at the points table and what it means in that context. And Kabul go to the top. Three out of four wins, and uh, they move to six points. And Kandahar stranded at the bottom. And remember, only the top four teams in this five-team uh, table go through to the semi-finals. Time now for a short break. And when we uh, return, it'll be time for the presentation.
Well, we will have to congratulate the Kandahar Knights for providing us with another cliffhanger. What a shame from their perspective that they could not close it out. However, another terrific match here in the Gulbahar Afghanistan Premier League, powered by Fog. Wherever you are watching around the world, hope you enjoyed it. And of course, a big thank you as always to those present here at uh, the Sharjah Cricket Ground. Thank you so much for your presence. It means a lot to all of us. All right, just before we get to introducing the presentation party, a uh, quick reminder of those who assisted with the league. For starters, of course, thanks to the Afghanistan Cricket Board. And then uh, Snixer Sports, their investment partner, Fog Scent, Channel 489.1, Q Ticketing, Kapurbak Mobile, Kabab Al Afghani, Al Zahra Private Hospital, Dubai, Sports Connection, and Khalij Times. And now, of course, my pleasant duty to introduce the presentation party to my left to begin with. We've got a technical advisor to the chairman of Afghanistan Cricket Board, Mr. Taj Malik Alam. Congratulations on the league. Mr. Aditya Karolia, Assistant Marketing Manager at uh, Gulbahar Group of Companies. Thank you for your title sponsorship. Hope you're enjoying the tournament. Mr. Kapilwak Safi, owner of Kapilwak Mobiles. A very familiar presence here. And Mr. Shabir Aslami, Director Operation at Stardom Event Management Company. And now to the awards. The first one, of course, is our most stylish player of the match. The award will be given away by Mr. Kapilwak Safi. US dollars 500 too. Another fantastic innings. You have to put your hands together for this phenomenal effort. Laurie Evans wins our first award here. Congratulations. A late charge, and it might have had a, a lot to do with uh, the fact that Kabul won again today. Laurie, well played. Uh, Laurie, you may not want to go too far because uh, we're happy to give you another award. It is our most sixes of the match, which is only a factual situation. Well done again. Mr. Shabir Aslami to present uh, Laurie Evans with 1,000 AED. Terrific performance once again. I'm sure your team's very, very proud of you. But no chat today. You are spared that because we have um, man of the match check and the trophy. And that today goes for a fantastic all-round performance. Two for 18 in his four overs. Anywhere, anytime in T20. Fantastic bowling effort. And then 33 from only 21. The winner of that award, Shahid Kamal. Shahid, well played indeed. Your check will be given away by Mr. Aditya Karolia. And uh, then Mr. Taj Malik Alam will be happy to present you with uh, the Man of the Match trophy. And there you go, Shahid. Well played indeed. Just right there. And once you have the trophy in your hands, can you walk up to me, please? He won't. Oh, he wants to translate. Shahid, come on up. Your captain is happy to do some more duty as if he's not tired enough. Okay, Shahid, stay right there. Rashid, thank you very much for helping out. Oh, you'll be here. All right, Shahid. We'll have to say, you know, this is a game meant for all-rounders. You had a terrific match today. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Lumlai, the match number one. You keep in the middle here. Akhpal team bro, tolo tawaima no wakiyat che coach or captain. Ma da kan finish tera kulo chita kawaishi no ma da gas jari wasa tolo no pal silamila sevar nakla the team de para me sevar kala. He says, uh, first of all, congratulations for the team uh, winning. So it was all about the plan that was given by the coach and captain. And I just wanted to go there and express myself and uh, to show my talent, talent. So he has done in the past as well. So that's what he said. Uh, you think your captain's happy with you? Yeah, <laughs> happy. Yeah, definitely must be happy for the way he performed. Well, I've got to ask you, of course, bowling and batting. Which one did you enjoy a lot more? Because you did well both ways. Uh, Zama. Uh, कम स्ट्रेंथ चाहिए बैटिंग दे नो चिकला के फ़्तान रब बंदे बरोसावा से तीनो जो कवाश में चाहिए बॉलिंग के खाली रिजल्ट वर्क का फर्स्टली आई मोस्टली लुक टू माय बैटिंग बिकॉज़ ही सेज आई हैव टू परफॉर्म वेल इन बैटिंग ऑल राउंडर सो देन देन इन द मेडल इफ द कैप्टन नीड्स मी फॉर द बॉलिंग आई Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Rashid, now that you're here, we'll have a quick chat. Of course, captain of the winning team, Kabul's won and well played again. But that was very, very close. Your heart must have been in your mouth. Yeah, Bismillah, uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, thanks to the Almighty Allah for the third win. I think uh, uh, it was a very close game. Mostly, you will see in this stadium, uh, close games, uh, very short boundaries. Anytime, uh, match can be changed. So, at the end, I think Wales in the Nasser played really well, especially the captain, the way he played uh, since he came to the wicket and just showed his aggression and uh, short. So, credit goes to them, to, do, to them and uh, I think it was a very good match. Yeah, I forget who bowled the uh, 18th over. Yeah, Parnell bowled the 18th over. Uh, 
or was it the w over before that which went for many yeah exactly it was the over which uh, he bowled after i gave in i think 2021 i was about to refer to your over <laughs> but anyway uh, not often that you go for many runs how did you feel after that one uh yeah i think i bowled well i was quite unlucky to get uh, to get the edge and uh, he played good shots you know uh, i just did the basics rides in the batsman played me well so it's good there is something that i learned from it that what should i do in the in the upcoming matches and uh, hopefully the upcoming match will be will be much better than this. well you're doing fabulously in the league so far congratulations thank you so much thank you. rashid khan ladies and gentlemen captain of kabul zwanan another win today and that leaves uh, just the duty of rashid to sign that ball for uh, our very special fan aisha zadran aisha you're looking lovely and of course you have that terrific uh, souvenir to hang on to thank you rashid for doing that for us and finally a quick chat with uh, somebody who's still smiling. I've got to hand it to you. Well done. That's a nice, bright smile for a man who's lost three matches in a row. Well done. <laughs> Bismillah rahman Yeah, it's part of game when you when you, you smile or you laugh at school because in the last time you, uh, you were smiling, you got the team is doing high. Well, just one or two things. One, of course, your personal form continues. You came in there showing a lot of anger, saying, so I'm going to do it today, and you almost did. Yeah, it's part of game, you know, uh, but unfortunately, you were in top order, not club and middle as well. Uh, that's the big problem. Uh, uh, consecutive th third game as well. And if you do like that, it's difficult for us uh, uh, the future games. Yeah. Well, listen, I feel for you, and we want you on the scoreboard, and maybe later on a uh, uh, promotion for uh, young vessels. Yeah, yeah, the young vessel is played very well. Uh, unfortunately, last two or 20 runs. I think it's not difficult, especially on this because on that, uh, that type of boundaries. But uh, I, I will give you uh, credit to Parnell this ball at the last uh, second last over very well, and uh, that's why. And Malik bowled the last two, uh, last over very well as well. Anyway, our sympathies are with you, and good luck for the rest of the matches. Thank you very much. Asghar Afghan, skipper of Afghanistan, and also, of course, of the Kandahar Knights, unfortunately, once again, very narrowly so, ending up on the losing side. That's all from the presentation arena. Big thank you to the presentation party. And back up to the commentary box, because this is a doubleheader. Much more action still to come. Thanks to Charu. And thanks to everyone who took part in the presentation ceremony. This is uh, what we've had for you then. The first of two matches today. Kabul Zwanan getting their third win in four outings against the winless Kandahar Knights. This is what it means in terms of the standings. Kabul go to the top. And uh, Kandahar, the cellar dwellers at this stage. Well... That's just half the action we've got for you. Next up, we've got uh, this one, the Nangaha Leopards up against the Bulk Legends. We'll take uh, a quick break and we'll be back for the action in about 15 minutes. Please stay with us.
strikers in the BBL. But of course, out here, he played the first two games, uh, Ben. But this is part and parcel, you know, because with the overseas players coming in, at times you have to sit out as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. There's uh, a lot of talent in the overseas players, and you only play four, so sometimes you've got to miss out. But hopefully, you get another chance soon. But how are you looking at this tournament, you know, especially as an individual? How do you want to improve uh, as the tournament progresses? You yeah, haven't played much cricket over here in Sharjah, so it's a great opportunity to get a few more games under the belt here, which is great, and learn some um, some new skills on these different pitches. So, yeah, it'd be nice to get back out there and try and work on some things. As you mentioned, Ben, you know, playing in Australia, conditions are different out here. The wickets are different. You've got to adapt to the situation. Variation in pace is so very important. Yeah, exactly right. And, uh, yeah, we get sport in Australia with some pretty fast and bouncy wickets with some big boundaries. It's a little bit opposite here. So, yeah, a few new game plans you have to tweak, and, yeah, hopefully we can work that out soon. Uh, a few words for your team as well, uh, your franchisee. Yeah, the boys have been going pretty well. We didn't bat extremely well last night, but I think that'll, um, that'll just be a little bleep on the radar and we'll be um, back into it tonight with the big boys at the top. Every game from here on is going to be very important. Yeah, it is. It is. It's nice to get some momentum towards the back end and into the finals. So, yeah, let's hope we can get a win tonight. Thanks, Ben, for talking to us. No worries. Thank you. So that was Ben talking to us. have the man Ben Loglin who really did a wonderful job this season for the striker.
came, he saw, and he misfired. Chris Gale didn't get the start, bulk legends were hoping. And in the end, the Pactia Panthers won by 37 runs. But that's history. That was last night. The legends are back on the field today to face a different opponent. An opponent desperate for a win. And the Leopards will need no stone unturned to make it two defeats in a row for the Bulk Legends. Well, taking on Nungarha Leopards is going to be a big game this evening, the second game of the evening. And I've got the man from the Leopards, uh, Ashmitullah Shaidi. Ashmitullah, a big experience here, you know, playing with the overseas players uh, is always a challenge on these surfaces. So it's going to be a big challenge for you as well. Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim Yes, it's a big challenge for me uh, to play against the big players and also in our big, it's uh, one of the biggest leagues now in APL. Playing here is a big challenge for me. I want to perform just. But you know, as far as your batting is concerned, you've got the stars, you know, in few games. Uh, you want to capitalize on that, you want to cash in because getting a big score always <coughs> adds to your confidence as an individual, as a player. Uh, yes, I'm here uh, for performance. So I did well in last two games. But I want to do more in uh, uh, upcoming games. So the uh, I did well. That's gone. So I have to play in the play good cricket in the other games also. Anything your coach uh, Venkatesh Prasad or the captain Ben Cutting advises you, tells you how to go about? Yeah, Venkatesh uh, uh, always talk to me and he saying to me just uh, play our natural game and uh, try to be uh, uh, there and. Uh, try to, uh, you know, the bowlers well, so try to be in and uh, play our natural game. You know, uh, Shadi, I want to know from you, you know, as a player, when you, when you go in the first six overs, what's the plan like? You want to cash in or you want to settle in as a batsman first, just read the situation, read the wicket, and then go about your strokes? Uh, in T20 cricket, it's not enough time to... Uh, so when you go in, so you should... Uh, wait for the loose ball also and uh, see what's going on and uh, uh, play according to the situations. Uh, like uh, in the chasing, I always uh, try to play according to the situation. What, sh what team needs me, I do that. So, But, but, but you know, last question uh, for you that underlies, especially in the second innings, you feel the wicket gets a bit better for batting? Yeah, it is better uh, always. Uh, like uh, if you've seen the matches, uh, uh, it's a due also in the second innings, uh, in the second innings. So... Uh, the wick, the wicket also, uh, it's good for the batting in the second inning. So it will be good for us. Uh, it will be a like we won the toss. We we won the toss and elected to ball first. So it will be good uh, for us. Thanks a lot in talking to us, Shaidi. Thank you very much. So that was Shaidi, a very good batsman uh, from uh, Nangahar. Is back to the comms out there. Thanks, Ajay, and thanks to uh, Hashmatullah Shahidi, who's been in very good form indeed in the tournament. 26 not out against Kandahar, 49 not out against Paktia, and then 15 from 11 balls against Kabul. That's the uh, Nangahar effort so far. A really good win against uh, Kandahar uh, first up, but then back-to-back -back losses. And that loss against Paktia, despite uh, a blazing effort from um, Ben Cutting, but uh, against Kabul, well, they, uh, they just didn't click at all. And, uh, of course, they were on the uh, the wrong end of uh, a blazing hundred from uh, uh, Hashmatullah, who played uh, an absolutely um, absolutely wonderful innings. 124 he made there. Zazai. Here's the Bulk Legends. They lost yesterday to uh, Paktia by 37 runs. That was Chris Gale's first match of the uh, tournament after uh, a couple of wins first up. This is the side led, of course, by uh, Mohamed Nabi. And they've got uh, tons of quality. Ryan Tenderskarta played a really good innings against uh, Kabul, along with uh, Ravi Bopara to get